Hobart School of Welding Technology presents Training in Gas Tungsten Arc Welding Pipe and Tubing. Topic number 11, Job Practice. Single V-Groove Weld, Butt Joint, Horizontal Position, 1G, 8-inch Diameter, Schedule 60 Steel Pipe, 1 quarter turn, Segment Welding. Objective. To develop skill to deposit quality root and second weld beads on schedule 60 steel pipe in the 1G quarter turn position using the cup walking technique. The standard joint specifications for 8 inch diameter pipe are root face 1 seconds inch, root opening 1 8 inch, groove angle 75 degrees. The finished pipe weld should penetrate to form a flat to 1 16th inch root reinforcement with complete fusion into the joint edges. The face of the hot pass should be flat to slightly concave with a smooth contour and complete fusion into the groove faces. Material, 8 inch diameter, scheduled 60 steel pipe, 6 rings per workpiece. Electrode, 1 8 inch diameter, 2% thoriated tungsten. Filler metal, 1 8 inch diameter, E70S1B. Shielding gas, argon, welding grade. Equipment, collet and collet body, 1 8 inch diameter. Nozzle, number 6, 3 8 inch inside diameter. Protective clothing, gloves and helmet, wire brush, wire cutters, and pliers. Machine settings. Polarity, direct current, electrode negative, straight polarity. Amperage setting, 90 to 95 for the root pass, and 100 to 110 for the second pass. Gas flow rate, 15 to 20 cubic feet per hour. Tungsten electrode stick out, two to three electrode diameters. The workpiece for this job practice is composed of six rings used to form five weld joints. The first two rings are tack welded using the procedure in topic number four. Each additional ring is added to the workpiece in the same manner. Thoroughly wire brush the tack welds and joint edges to remove any contaminants. Secure the workpiece in the 1G position. The pipe is located horizontally and should be free to rotate. In this exercise, a quarter of the pipe is welded from the 3 o'clock to the 12 o'clock position. The pipe is then rotated to bring the next 3 to 12 o'clock section into welding position. Now this practice continues until the bead is complete. Adjust the electrode stick out to one to three electrode diameters. The electrode cap is then tightened so that the tungsten is securely gripped. The stick out can be checked by placing the nozzle against the joint bevels and angling the torch to form a 35 to 45 degree push travel angle. Now this should allow an arc length no longer than 1 16th inch. Position the pipe so that the tack welds for the joint to be welded are located at 3, 6, 9, and 12 o'clock. Position yourself comfortably with the torch located about one quarter inch behind the leading edge of the 3 o'clock tack weld. The nozzle should be resting against the joint bevels. Angle the torch back slightly to form a 35 to 45 degree push travel angle with the electrode pointing in the direction of travel. The torch should be gripped comfortably. Now usually the torch is gripped closer to the head to allow greater control, but not so close as to prevent welding because of the heat. Now some practice will be necessary to determine individual preference. The filler metal is then placed in the joint, 
against the edges of the root face with the end of the rod tight against the end of the tack weld. Angle the filler rod about 10 degrees from the joint. When the angle is correct, about one quarter inch of the rod will be resting against the joint. A your position should allow free movement to weld up the joint. The arc will be started behind the tack weld to preheat the tack before starting the weld. This provides good fusion between the tack and the bead. Now start the arc by slowly swinging the torch handle to the side until the electrode lightly touches the joint bevel. As soon as the arc is started, quickly move the torch back into welding position. Travel along the joint by lightly pushing upwards on the torch nozzle while moving the handle from side to side. The nozzle remains against the bevels while the handle is moved one half inch from side to side, somewhat like the pendulum of a clock. Now this is commonly called walking the cup. The swinging motion of the handle causes the point of the tungsten to oscillate between the root edges, causing the root bead to flatten out and penetrate well into both edges. Keep the movements precise and an even rhythm, maintaining the same torch and filler rod angles for the entire bead. Weld from 3 to 12 o'clock. As you approach the 12 o'clock tack weld, raise the filler metal rod to keep the tip in the area between the tack and the approaching weld. Now once the area is filled, pull away the rod and continue torch travel about a quarter inch beyond the end of the tack weld. The finished bead face should be 3 16 inch wide and flat to slightly concave. The root reinforcement should range from flush with the base metal to a maximum of 1 16th inch. If the bead face is highly convex and the penetration is insufficient, reduce the travel speed or increase the welding current. If the root reinforcement is excessive, then increase travel speed or reduce the welding current. Now, turn the workpiece one quarter turn to bring the next section into position for welding. Use the same procedure as before for welding, restarting, and tying in. The second pass is deposited with a slightly higher amperage setting, about 100 to 110 amps. This weld is deposited over the root bead using the same amount of electrode stick out. The torch, however, should be angled back a little more in the direction of travel to avoid touching the puddle. Weld from 3 to 12 o'clock with the same procedure as before, except that the side to side motion will be slightly increased. The filler rod is held at the center of the root bead to produce an equal joint fill. Variations in the thickness of the root pass or the width of the groove may cause an occasional need for adjusting the length of the arc during welding. To shorten the arc length during welding, move the torch handle forward. To increase the arc length, the handle is moved back. If the second bead becomes highly convex and does not wash out smoothly into the groove face, Increase the side-to-side -side movement of the torch. Restarts should be made in the same manner as for the root pass. The second pass should produce a flat face and even fusion into both edges of the joint. Inspect the weld and then continue practice.